listening to the best of inspirational music and conversation radio, Brand New Day with Emily Blue, right here on We Talk Radio. I am your host, Emily Blue, here with co-host Deanne Lax. We are going to continue this year to be intentional in every facet of our lives. Galatians 5 and 1 says, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I want to encourage you to free yourself. As we prepare to move into the second quarter of 2022, I've been thinking about everything that I've been dealing with as well as everybody else over the last few years. Many of us have experienced some great losses and trauma. It seems like just when you're getting out of one thing, something else is around the corner. Trust me, I truly can relate to how you feel. I want to be transparent for a moment to say that I am in a season in my life to free myself from people, places, and things that mean me absolutely no good. Hebrews 12 and 1 says, Therefore, seeing we also are compassed about by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin with the so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. We have to free ourselves from the weight of everything we've been going through. These last few years have been so much But we can't let it stop us. We can't let the things that we've gone through in our lives determine how our end is going to be. We have to release the baggage, the things that we're dealing with on a day-to-day basis, the things that have traumatized our lives. We cannot accomplish purpose and destiny if we are weighed down in the cares of life. In the Amplified Version of the Bible, 1 Peter 5 and 7 says, Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deep affection and watches over you very carefully. Let's free ourselves starting today by giving it to the Lord and doing the work to maintain our freedom. Have you ever practiced, studied, or worked so hard you just knew you were going to win or get whatever it was that you were striving for? Well, you know, right now it's March Madness, and the majority of our family, we're basketball fans. We love seeing our favorite teams win. Hey, TSU Tigers, what's up, U of H Cougs? Hey, KU Jayhawks. (laughs) But there is something that tugs on our heartstrings to see the opposing team lose. I know our youngest daughter can relate this past week. She and our son participated in the school's oratorical contest. It was her first time since pre-K-2, basically in six or seven years, not getting first place. Not only did she not get first place, she got third place. Indeed, it was a little heartbreaking because baby girl knew this poem like the back of her hand. She confidently spoke to the MC, introduced herself and the poem, and jumped right into the middle of the poem. She stumbled to get back on track, but when she got back on, oh my goodness, she owned that poem. But just like our son's first time not getting first place, we had to explain that there's a time for everything. Sometimes you can be or do something so well, you can have it all together. But when you go for it, it's not that you didn't do an excellent job. Sometimes there's something or someone there who is ready for the win also. Sometimes that setback can be a turning point in the life of you or others competing with you. Sometimes that's exactly where God is working in their lives to speak to them. And sometimes it's your opportunity to use those setbacks as a come up. And simply speaking, we just won't win them all. Sometimes. (laughs) We need to always be grateful for the opportunity. Whatever the case, always remember that there is a right time for everything. 
Even Ecclesiastes 3, 1 says, there is a right time for everything. Everything on earth has its special season. When your season comes, be sure to give God the glory, whatever the place, whenever the time. If he brings you to it, he deserves the praise. Joy Seekers, we just want to remind you that beginning next month, we are starting a new segment. Now, if you listen to our show with gospel songstress Kim Washington, you know she has a new song called I See It. Well, God has been real good to us, even in the midst of an international pandemic, wars, horrendous gas prices, and we have been able to see some people work hard and stay committed to tasks they've been assigned to. So over the next few months, we are going to recognize those who have made significant accomplishments that are flying under the radar. We are going to give you your props in the I See You segment. We see you. Others may not give you the credit you deserve, but we are going to give you your flowers now. So listeners, help us out. Send us an email to brandnewdayemily at gmail.com to recognize someone, male or female, no matter the age, so we can let them know. We see you. We see it. There are so many people out here doing amazing things, and we want to encourage you. If you're one of those people, or if you know one of those people, make sure you send your email again to brandnewdayemily at gmail.com. Not only do we want to recognize those who deserve it, we also want to share what you are doing to receive accolades and post it to share with our listening audience. You never know. Someone may be in your need of services or may be in a position to further your dream. I want to remind you to relax, relate, release. One of my favorite shows growing up was A Different World. The episode that stands out the most to me is when Whitley Gilbert sees a therapist to seek help on her breakup with Dwayne Wayne. Her words of advice to Whitley, relax, relate, release. You might be wondering, what does this mean exactly? We must regularly refuel after working intensely to increase productivity and performance. Essentially, that is what relax, relate, release means. Through the course of our week, we encounter so many different situations. Problems we must solve projects we must plan, relationships we must nurture, the list goes on and on and on. So there's so much we have to process at our jobs and at home that there comes a time when we just need to take a mental break from it all and allow ourselves time to rejuvenate. Find those things and moments to help you Relax, relate, relate. Hey, fearless families. It's a pleasure to be with you this evening. I pray you all are well. I just wanted to say that it's spring again. Hey, yes, spring is one of my absolute favorite seasons. It's Easter. It's Mother's Day. It's all those great things. Even Father's Day has maybe, well, maybe that's summer. But, you know, spring is a great time of year. So I just, I love spring. So let's get right into what we're going to talk about tonight. Y'all, I'm so excited because I'm just going to be honest. Some of you may be out of your mask already. Our kids attend a private school where they wear masks until May and I'm okay with that. But I'm just going to be honest, y'all. It's starting to get hot already. It's going to be 90 degrees here in Texas today. And 
I'm ready to come out of these masks. So let's be good. At least let's keep our social distancing good so that we can come out of these masks. Y'all, for real, Lord, please help us, help us. I am praying we will be able to take them off soon. I'm hoping to, I'm hoping this new variant isn't real crazy so that by at least May, we could come out of the mask. Okay, y'all. So anyway, parents, I need you to tell us what's on the agenda this spring.